From the very beginning, the connection between us was so natural and easy. You basically moved in unintentionally and we became best friends. As much as we try to take things slow, it was impossible to ignore all the signs. And as soon as you won Trey Trey over, I knew you're the one. When Brandon introduced Sam to our family, we were thrilled. She's full of life, full of love. She is just an amazing person. Our wedding day is finally here, and it's mind-blowing how fast five years has gone by leading up to this day. But I wish it could slow down or break the hands of time so we could live this moment forever. I am truly honored to be a part of this special day. I've had the privilege of watching him grow into who he is today, which frankly has been pretty interesting. <laughs> I have fond memories of sitting around every holiday with Brandon's Uncle Steve and the two of us saying, boy, it's a good thing he's pretty. <laughs> to my soon to be husband, thank you for always putting up with me. I know I can be a giant pain in the ass, but regardless of my, uh, my many imperfections, you still chose me. I don't think there is anyone else on this planet that compliments me the way you do. We both know I am the most indecisive person on the planet, but today I get to make the easiest decision I'll ever make. I am one of Sam's oldest friends, and since the moment we met, we were instantly connected and created this sister relationship that I never thought possible with someone non-family. Moving to North Carolina was terrifying because I thought we'd lose that, and thank God that we didn't. We still supported each other through school, relationships, jobs, other friendships, and loss. Now I'm so excited that we get to support each other through marriage. And I honestly, I couldn't be happier for you two to get together. I think some of Sam's best traits is she's patient. She's supportive of his love for video games and fucking sick beats. When I first really realized Brandon had no talent at all was when uh, football I threw him a little football, and he's, what, four years old? Goes right through his hands, hits him in the face. He still looks good, but man, it was damaging. And so the next thing you know, he's playing video games all the time. Then all of a sudden, he's there meeting Sam, and I'm like, my gosh, they click. They are so awesome. You are the most amazing, amazing part of our family, and I am so happy. I am so happy. You are the two most unapologetically sarcastic and stubborn people I have ever met. But in that same breath, you are unapologetically loving and caring and loyal to no fault. And I've never met anyone like you two. I couldn't have created with my own hands a better man for Sam. Not just her husband, but now a dear friend of mine as well. Thank you, Brandon, for caring for my Sam the way that you do. And thank you for keeping her safe and loved to Brandon's family. Y'all already know how much I love you guys and how much I appreciate you taking Sam in and giving her the unconditional familial love that she truly deserves. You're the missing puzzle piece, my better half, my best friend, my love. And I vow to always keep that spark burning bright, improve on the little things that build up to be a better man and never let our melody die. I love you, little one, until the end of time. Brandon and Sam, you have committed yourselves to one another by the pledge of your marriage vows and by the exchange of wedding rings. And now, by the power vested in me, Father Carson, by the state of Florida and by the Totally Not Fake Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. My dear Sam, you're one of the strongest women I know and I am in awe of you every day. I couldn't be more blessed and privileged to be by your side today. To my very best friend, my sister, and the godmother of my children, congratulations to you and your sweet husband. There aren't two people who are more deserving of each other but you guys. And with that, I'd like to cheers to many more years of laughter and love I adore you both so much. Cheers.
by the old gods and the new. King Brandon, House of Gomez, and Planet Saturn, son of James and Trey Trey, first of his name, designated Slayer of Bugs, Tamer of the Morning Beast, future White Cap of Winter Garden, today you become a husband. With all the love and all the seven kingdoms, your soon-to-be wife. That was awesome. <laughs>